Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to the next part of my micro lathe that I'm making. Uh, so uh, without any further ado we'll crack on and get on to the next part of this then. Briefly then, I've been doing a bit of a few calculations for my pulley system 
in my back gears because I've got no plans like I said of this uh, and I'm, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail at the moment because this might change but my, my, my initial plan is I'm going to do the back gears first so I've got so that I can then determine the room I've got for my pulleys to fit within the back gears because the back gears have got to slide back and forth to engage and this drawing I've done I'm going to use a fifth I've just took these off my Marford lathe just to represent what I'm doing I'm thinking of putting a 55 and a 27 on so be, that'll be that way and then that'll be that way and they'll slide in and out it'll all become clear as I go along uh, right so until I get this sorted out they're not going to be as thick as this by the way these are 3 8 wide I'm on, they'll only be 3 16 wide so my first job is to make two blanks up for a 55 tooth two blanks up for a 27 tooth then I can fit them on and get some measurements and then proceed on to pulley system and find my centres out where my shaft's going to go in in here for my back gears etc just before I move over to later like, I thought I might just explain this for anybody that don't quite know what I'm doing here I've got to make two gears 55 tooth and a 27 tooth so to get your to get your blank diameters it's um, the number of teeth plus two divided by the DP which in this case is 20 so it's 57 divided by 20 for the large gear which gives 2.850 and for the smaller gear it's 27 teeth plus 2 which is 29 divided by the DP 20 uh, which gives me 1.450 diameter for my smaller gear two of each My plan is I'm going to have a three stage pulley here and then just a bit further back there'll be another three stage pulley and this platform here is for the back gears they'll be fixed on a shaft there and that's when they're in mesh right so on this on this piece here I'm going to put a collar on here with a groove in and a groove in this with a with a selector arm in and a pin through to push all this shaft that way the desired amount so when that pushes the selector arm pushes it's going to push this out of mesh which in turn will push the both the gears simultaneously out of mesh and locked in position so I'm going to 
cut the teeth on these gears next, I think. Okay, then I think I'll continue with this in the next part for the back gears and the pulleys, etc. So uh, if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.